Hello everyone and welcome. So recently I was back home celebrating Chinese New Year with my family and I was going through some of my old stuff and I found this. Um, some of you may recognize this as the iPod Shuffle first generation. So today I'd like to go um, give you a very quick tour of this device. This is kind of like a blast from the past and also um, share with you a story about how I got cheated over this and this thing was made in was released in 2005 back then I think most of you would remember that um, it's unlike now when your smartphone functions as your mp3 player um, your point and shoot camera and something you use to make phone calls all at the same time and I'm actually not the first owner of this device um, I used to own an iRiver H10 so the iRiver is a Korean company that specializes in making portable media players and back then they used to make pretty good devices and the H10 model I had had 5 gigabytes of storage and was quite small had a color screen and for reasons that I am I don't remember exactly why um, I wanted to trade my iRiver H10 for an iPod Shuffle um, but it has probably something to do uh, with the fact that I have heard very good things about the iPod Shuffle's audio quality and also because I needed to free up some cash to upgrade my headphone um, so I went on a forum and found someone who was willing to uh, make the trade so we agreed on he agreed to trade his iPod Shuffle a bunch of accessories and 90 dollars for my iRiver H10 which was worth um, quite a bit more than the iPod so um, on the day we arranged to meet he told me that he didn't have enough cash with him to um, so he didn't have the $90 with him and asked me if um, it was okay if he transferred the money on the next day um, onto my bank account and being a little inexperienced and young girl and generally to trusting of people I said yes and I think most of you can see now where this story is going and how I got cheated and needless to say I never saw the ninety dollars so I was left with something that had less storage more rudimentary and ninety dollars poorer and I was really angry back then I was really mad about that but anyway um, I guess it serves as a cautionary tale um, about not trusting too much in strangers but anyway um, let me just give, give you a very brief tour of the device so um, I guess as a constellation I can say that this dif this thing sounded sounds really good and even after many years of use it still works and anyway on to the tour 
there's really not much to say um, as you can see there is on the screen on the device so you would have to learn your playlist quite well by heart so for example if I have two albums on the iPod and I didn't want to listen to the first album I would have to press skip for 10 times if the first album had 10 tracks to get to the second album if um anyway here this is the front of the device um there this is the back or reverse rewind button this is next track or if you hold it down um it kind of fast forwards and there's a volume control volume up and volume down so um these are all clicky buttons something that's quite rare in today's um, mobile devices and um, there is also a play and pause button logically and hidden underneath um, the casing or the housing is an LED so you can see that the green light lights up the LED lights up and there's also an orange LED I'm not too sure how you get it how I get the orange LED to show to light up but um, anyway um, this is the front there's really not much else to see here and the back so in the back you can see the slider here so if I slide it once down it will play in the linear playback mode so in this mode it will play um, exactly according to um, how you loaded your music onto the device and then that is also the shuffle mode just like the switch one notch further and you go into the shuffle mode so I think shuffle mode is kind of self-explanatory um, it plays music in random order um, therefore shuffle anyway um, below is a battery indicator if you want to know how much battery it has so as you can see it's an the orange LED lights up and if the device um, is fully charged it shows um, a green LED instead of an orange LED and the top of the device is a 3.5 millimeters headphone jack nothing spectacular nothing on both sides and you don't need a cable with this device so let me just show you uh, it works like a USB thumb drive in fact you can um, have a separate partition to you know, use you can create a separate partition to store data instead of music so um, let me just quickly show you here it says one gigabyte on this connector here and this is also how you charge the device um, when it's um, when it runs out of battery so uh, that's about it it's quite a very it's quite a simple small it's really small uh, for size comparison I have my trusty mouse here so it's about size of a mini Microsoft mouse and 
What's interesting is I also used to own the second generation iPod Shuffle, um, which is even smaller, which is about this size. So this size, it has a clip at the back. And what's so interesting about that MV3 player is um, da data transfer and charging was done through a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So they give you, Apple gives you uh, an adapter, kind of like a base, so you can just charge it by slotting it onto the base. And basically the only connection on the other iPod um, was the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Anyway, um, that's all for today's video. Um, if you like this video, you can help me out by giving me a thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel for more ASMR videos. And um, if you have any questions or comment, please leave them in the comment section below. And um, thank you very much for watching and until next time, bye.